Years ago, when I was 18, I was in a hospital waiting room, waiting to see the rheumatologist, and I was sitting next to my dad. My schooling had been interrupted at the age of 15 when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile chronic arthritis, and I had been in and out of hospital, as I have done for the whole of my life. My dad was always one to want to make people laugh and he was trying to lift my mood. I was in pain, I couldn't walk very far and I was struggling to understand whether I'd be able to go to university and look after myself. So I wasn't really in a good place. So after yet another feeble attempt to make me laugh, I snapped at my dad. Dad, there is nothing funny about disability. 30 seconds later, a young man in his 20s came into the reception wearing a bunny outfit. Seriously, he was in a bunny outfit top to tail. I watched him as he limped slowly to the reception. His arthritis was significant and he got checked in and he started to walk towards a chair. And as he did so, he turned to all of us and he said, last time I was here, I waited four hours to be seen, to be told to hop along to get my bloods tested. So I'm ready. We broke out laughing and dad turned to me with that look. I told you so. There are many funny things about living with disability and what we have to do is get over other people's stuff. Our leadership lesson this month is that great leaders take humour seriously. Humour and laughter accelerates feelings of trust, of closeness and of comfort. With the rise of disability influencers, podcasters, bloggers and vloggers though, there are great examples of how to weave humour into serious conversations about disability. My dad never stopped trying to make me laugh. Fast forward to over 30 years later, we are moving dad into our hospice. He is in his final days with bowel cancer. I had grabbed his favorite spotty blanket from home, which he used to put over his quilt when he was cold. We are setting up his room in the hospice in which he would eventually die. The senior nurse bustled in and said, what is your name? And then on seeing the blanket said immediately, I think I'll call you Spotty. Dad gives her that look, that long, cold, hard stare. And he says, I'd prefer it if you'd call me Roy. And as he does, he turns to me and winks. Inside, I'm doing a bunny hop with laughter. So, when you are building your disability ERG, think about your brand, think about your style, and think about the good use of humour. It could be the best thing you've ever done.